All right, welcome to the Dream Achievers almost weekly um, Zoom calls. I'm excited you're here. And um, today I'm going to just start out with two victories. I know you guys got lots of victories to share. And then I'm going to get into some announcements and then we're going to get into our, to our topic. So we're going to limit it to two victories. Again, I know you guys are just ready to share. Who would like to start? I can go. I just closed. Yay. I just closed a six hundred and twenty dollar catalog party yesterday. Yay! Wow. Congratulations! I should get my clappers out. Um. So when you say catalog party, or on sorry online. On okay, I thought maybe you did like party. an old no, fashioned online Facebook. So six hundred twenty five. That's really good for me. I'm finding my party sales are a little bit lower, like like in more in the four hundred dollar range. So. That's fantastic. Any tips on how you did it? No, she's a repeat host, so she knows how to do it. And she does it well. Okay. Did she rebook then? Yeah, she uh, she always does two parties a year for me. That's nice. That's, really That's nice. That's like my bar party tomorrow night. She always does one for fall and one for summer. So, yeah. all right. Thank you, Sheila. Yeah. Who is next? One more victory. Hello. <laughs> well, and I think I saw your name on the on my sponsoring reports. Did I not? Yeah. Yes, and Bree is here with us. Brianne. Oh, Brianne is the new. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like, well, that's two victories, right? Three victories. You sponsored her. She joined and you're both on. Right. <laughs> totally. Ah. Well, Brianne, not to put you on the spot, but um, we're going to put you on the spot. Just say your name and why you joined Taste Life Simple. We are a very friendly group. Um, Brianne Barris, and I joined Taste Life Simple. I reached out to Angie, actually. She did a party I was a part of a few months ago, and I said, I've been thinking about making an order, um, but I've also been thinking about joining as a consultant. And she said, do it. <laughs> and Aww. so I just jumped in and um, I'm doing my first party. It officially starts tomorrow, but I've got a good group of people that have joined and I'm really excited to get going. Yeah. Oh, great. And congratulations. Welcome to the team. You got an awesome sponsor. She's so doing Scent Share and everything. She is on it. That's the way <laughs> She's going to be training us soon, I think. <laughs> oh, that's the way to go. I love it. I love it. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome. Welcome to the team. All right. So let's just talk quick about Party Palooza. I was at the Diamond Retreat last week. It was super fun. Lots of exciting things coming our way. Um, they're so goofy about secrets. So like, <laughs> the only thing I can really tell you is this Amy, which some of you maybe have checked out on. It's a customer service app. Have any of you tried it, AMI? I downloaded it, but I didn't do much more because people love it. Okay, so I think starting the end of May or the beginning of June, I know they want to kind of run it for a month and a half with copper leaders and above. We're going to be able to try it for free. So at this point, Angie and anybody else don't sign up to pay yet because okay. we're going to be able to have a special link. And I, uh, what's her name? Julie Cavanaugh, sorry, what's her name? Our marketing VP said, those that use it, I've been so busy, I haven't even, I got like all these notes, I haven't even had a chance to go through it. But if I recall, she said, increase their sales from 11 to 22%. And I said, okay, sign me up. Um, if you pay by the year, it's only $5 a month. And I said, okay, Julie, you tell me how much I need to spend in a day. Oh, here it is. 14 to 37% increase in productive in their sales. That's even better than what I thought. So I said, okay, Julie, for $5 a month, you tell me how much time I have to spend then on this Amy thing, this customer service. And she said 30 to 45 minutes a day. I mean, even if you spent less and you got 14% increase in your, I mean, she said 14 to 37%, that's huge. 
So, um, but when you pay by the year, it's only five dollars a month. So that's really reasonable. Um, my advice to you right now is to clean up your address book. Do you guys do that on a monthly basis? Yeah, I never did it either, but I need to. Um, especially Katie, and for those of you that are newer, um, keep that address book up to date. And don't if you have red marks on there, that means you're not getting your email. So definitely take some time now to check that out. Um, and Bri Brianne, you would um, you'll find out too. You can actually download people from your email into your address book on my HQ and then they'll get emails on your behalf so anyway that's exciting there's some really fun new products coming out um the one thing I was getting at though is the update on party palooza so virtual registration opens up on Wednesday that's this Wednesday May 19th watch the Wednesday buzz the governor of Minnesota those of you that live in Minnesota know he has lifted a lot of the the pandemic regulations or whatever and so when i talked to debbie johnson she's in charge of Enlighten. stuff that you know party pools that runs all our events and she was in works last week the marriott was deciding how many people we could have and she says i'm pretty sure they'll open it up to at least 400. um so we have we had a cap of 250 which was filled so that means there's room for another 150 people so would love to see um you all there and all your team members so Obviously, most of us are in the Midwest here that's on our team, so it's a little easier for us to not to fly. And if you do fly, I know, I know Ryan got a ticket from Lincoln, Nebraska for like $129 or something, Andy. Mm -hmm. You like that. So anyway, just watch your, watch your buzz. And whether you join us virtually or in person, we would love to have you there. If Another they say not virtually, and then can you change it to in person? Or do you know, can you go back and forth? Oh, they didn't mention that. Um, it, I would private or I would live chat to Slay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to say they probably don't want a lot of that happening just because it gets kind of messy, but. Um, I just didn't know if they'll know if they can let 150 more in by Wednesday, you know. I think they will they because that, the Marriott meeting okay. was last week. Oh, okay. The Diamond okay. Retreat was Monday through Wednesday, and Debbie Johnson said, oh, we're meeting, or the Marriott's working on it this week, which would have been last week. So I'm really thinking on Wednesday, I didn't want to bugger today. I'm really thinking on Wednesday, they'll share um, whether you can be there or not. So I think, yeah, I think the in-person is non refund Anyway, the, just see what, see what they say on Wednesday and we'll go from there. So raise your hand if you are going to join Jane Neighbor on you or it on Thursday at six. Awesome. Okay. I'm actually can't raise my hand because I have a party that night. So either you need to have a party or you need to be skewering it with Jane Neighbor. Jane Neighbor is our culinary expert. To find out the information, I think I shared it on the team page, but you also, to say yes, you're going because it's an event and that's how you're going to watch it live, Tastefully Simple Inc. Remember, there's the Tastefully Simple Independent Consultant Facebook page, and then there's Tastefully Sim Simple Inc., and that's where that event is. And I sometimes like to go to Tastefully Simple Inc. to see what's, you know, see what they're showing for products. And sometimes I'll kind of steal what they're sharing. You know what I mean? Just to give you ideas because they're marketing our products um, for us on that. So anyway. All right. Any questions on things that are going on? I do want to add on the skewer it. I did print this out. Um, I actually made the one beef and veggie kebabs, I think last, I don't know, a, a little while ago. So they were very good using our pesto. Um, and I went to Aldi's and the steak was already cut into a little, you know, the right kebab thing or whatever. So that was really easy to do. But if you go to the public website and you just type in skewer it bundle, the bundle will come up. That's what Jane is going to be talking about on Thursday. And then this recipe is, is going to be there. So uh, people are looking for grilling ideas and kebabs are so fun. So you might also want to add that to your online parties. Um, I know I'll be talking about it in person and online as well. It's grilling, it's kebabs. Um, you know, what can we do to help people with their food needs now that summer is finally here? So um, keep that in mind. 
All right. Anything else as far as what's coming up um, or going on? Remember the you can earn the little food thing in that big ginormous bag um, that will have tastefully simple on it. I um, Jen Briggs took a picture of it last week at the Diamond Retreat. It's actually a lot bigger than what I thought. Although I'm not a big fan of incentives you have to pay for, I might buy that one because it looks so pretty and it's so huge. And it would be fun just to have it on the pontoon or going somewhere with your stuff and have tastefully simple on the outside. So as much it's as I don't want to earn incentives I have to pay for, I think I might do that one. What were you going to say, Angie? I was just going to say, I'm still using the insulated bag we got, I don't know how long ago. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I, I still use it all the time. It was nice. So I'm kind of thinking I'll probably get this new one too. Yeah, it's really nice. I'll share the picture. I mean, it's it's really, really, really large. So I, it'll be uh, fun to use. So, all right. So we're working on that. Watch your numbers. Um, what was the dollar amount on that cooler again? Was it 1200 or? I can look real quick. I think it was. I don't have it in front of me. Either. I want to say it was 800. It wasn't a, a super, super high. I don't, I almost thought it was 500, but it's got to be more than that. Come on. I don't, I can't remember. I just. I'll yeah. go look. Okay. I'm almost there. It's okay. I'm almost there, Sheila. Oh, Sheila, she almost, Angie almost has it. Let's see who's quicker. Well, I stopped. So level You're one tired. was 200. The level one was 200. And then um, level so 800, yeah. 800. Oh, 800 and 800. And then it's 25 And then for each $200 you you sell, you get you could buy another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Hmm. They put that under the food. Yeah, so for each 800 you can buy another tote. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Awesome. And it costs 25 and $5 for the cute little bags for two of them. For reusable bags. Those look kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, you get two. They were cheaper nice. than if you went to buy those on Amazon. Yeah, they're, they'd be a lot more. They were nice. I saw those as well. So very nice. So um, then like those food bags that you can buy for every 200, mm -hmm. are those something you can give away as like a host reward? Or is that personal yeah. stuff that we have to keep? I know. You can do that. You can do whatever you want with them. Yeah. Okay. You sure could. You could. Yeah, go ahead, Katie. Um, I, I talked about the rhubarb. A couple of you were on a little um, earlier, but um, I've got rhubarb that I just picked from, you know, I live out in the country on a farm and there's rhubarb in the ground with garden. And I was just going to share how many, raise your hand if you've made the rhubarb with bananas apple cake. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is phenomenal. And as, we, as Katie, Sheila and I were talking, it's two cups of apples or two cups of rhubarb. And it smells so good. I mean, I love rhubarb cobbler, but a rhubarb crisp or whatever. Um, this is just so much easier. You get the two cups of chopped apples, dump in, mix, throw it in the oven. It smells fantastic. I make the apple crisp with it. And it is like the biggest recipe people ask me for. Okay. Yeah. So is that the crisp or cake? For that one, you just do the cake. That would just be the cake. But okay. I bet you could grab the apple. So I've just made the cake with the rhubarb, but the apple crisp, I bet you could do the same thing. And oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just add oatmeal and... So you put it on the bottom and then I would probably add some sugar since it's rhubarb, I suppose. Yeah, but then you just do the Nana's cake, oatmeal and butter on the top. And it's, it makes a big nine by 13. It's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's better than, my grandma had the best recipe ever. I'm sorry, grandma, but this one probably beats it. Yeah. Well, good to know, And I'll share it. Yeah, share it, share it on the team page. Mm -hmm. So. As we were talking earlier, you want to share recipes that are timely, right? So rhubarb is very Midwestern and people are like, oh my gosh, I love that stuff. How easy is it to make? So grab that recipe for the rhubarb cobbler or rhubarb crisp or the rhubarb nana's cake and share away and make it yourself. And then don't forget, raise your hand if you ordered one of these little bad boys. Sorry, Bree, you had to bring it up, Sherry. Oh, I forgot to tell Bree to order it by the 15th and she didn't get one. Oh, well, it'll be here before you know it, Brianne. <laughs> awesome. So use this to book parties in June, right? Remember, there's four cute little seasons in your seasonings in there, $19.99. So I know I'm going to. Anybody have any fun ideas with this little bad boy? 
There you go, Angie. Anybody been thinking of any ways they're going to promote this? I'm going to bring it camping next weekend. Okay. We'll, we'll have to think of some ideas on how we can. Um, I just think it's super cute. So, okay. All right. So our topic for today is ask a question of your leader. That's me. And if you don't have any questions, I hope you do. I wanted you to share some topics for upcoming Zoom. I will share one topic I have for sure, and I'm hoping that it's June 7th. Faye, Faye Annie, she, do you guys know who that is? She's a fellow Diamond leader. She sponsored 11 new consultants in the first quarter. That's January, February, March, 11. So I want her to come just do like a Q&A, like, how'd you do it, Faye? What are you doing? So that's going to be, um, I'm hoping, um, June 7th. I'm in the works with her on that. So that's going to be one of our topics. So let's start. Let's just start with topics, if you don't mind. What do you, what are you guys looking for? For these. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We had a runaway horse. Sorry. How Not about, us. But our how neighbor. about something like um, new consultant basics? So training new consultants, Sheila? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I love it. You know, I think that does hold some people back. It's been really fun as far as sponsoring. It's been really fun to have Brooke our daughter joined and I'm like, Brooke, you know, you get a $50 bonus when you sponsor somebody. Wow. I don't have time for that. I'd rather just make money. I mean, it's so like the responses she's telling me, even though she grew up in a house with direct sales, I'm like, it's so funny. Cause it's so like common. <laughs> and, um, well, guess what? She has her first recruit lead. Someone, um, was, asking questions I'm like Brooke you got to reach out to her I don't know if I have time for I'm like I will help you so now she's got we're do, going to do a three-way conversation on Thursday night this but anyway so I think it's a great topic uh, Sheila because I think a lot of consultants don't ask because they're fearful they're like I don't know what to do so it's a great topic anybody else what else are you guys looking for I was thinking like client care and that Amy's going to help with that, that new software, but yep. you know, I know I should be reaching out to my post past hosts and saying, do you need more stuff? But I just, yeah, like a system. If anybody has a good system. For it. That's a great idea. I'll see what I can do. And great topic. I know we can all do more. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to recommend even from now to the end of the month, if you don't have any more parties or events, you know, do some client care, you guys. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. People still do talk. We're talking. Um, private message, text, whatever you do. But don't just put a post on Facebook. I think it's going to rain from the clouds. You know what I mean? It's just not. So, all right. What other topics? Three is a new consultant. Can you think of like, it's probably so overwhelming right now. Yeah. Bree's literally days in. And I throw a lot on. I can't think of anything right now. It's all very new. So. <laughs> and, and Brianne, that's what my daughter Brooke said too. She's like, my gosh, it's so overwhelming. So that's just normal, 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 normal. How about something like um, exploring vendor events? Mm -hmm. Idea. Yeah, there could be a lot of great tips on that. Talking about like bringing inventory versus not bringing inventory. Yep. Even profitability. Um, Profit, yeah. It's amazing to me what some people do and don't do. So, True. great topic. And we've got some really good rock stars on vendor events too on our team. I mean, there's some, you know, I think of Twyla, I think of Cam, I think of, you know, different people that that's really what they do. We can't see Gail, but she is awesome at vendors. And Christy, you do quite a few vendor events too, don't you? Yeah, so it would be fun to hear what you guys are doing um, to, yeah, 
So maybe do that fairly soon, being that it is definitely vendor event season, outdoor events, especially, but going into the fall and the holiday season too. I agree. I, I'm super excited that that's opened up for so many people because it's a really big income producer for a lot of consultants. So that Christy, we might, um, I might be reaching out to you to share like two tips and Gail, Gail would be a good too. I don't know if she can hear us, but yeah. Yeah. I just volunteered you Gail. <laughs> she can do it. Yeah. She's, she's really good at them. Yeah. Um, I've even thought about like, we go big camp campgrounds and i've even thought about like setting up a table in front of the camper we'll bring some spices i mean i don't know yeah, and people, it's not a bad idea though i thought about doing that up at the river especially yeah. on the big weekends yeah and, and that way even just i even thought about just putting my sign out in there and yep. be like come over because i am getting a lot of spices i need to mm. and sauces i need to sell some yeah yeah you should Angie. janine black i think does that and gosh there's a girl in my second or third line that used to do that or does that. I can't think of who it is. I, I have done it in the past, but um, I typically find someone who has a campsite and then ask them to host for well, me. We have campsites. Oh. Yeah, we're yeah. camping. And then give her, I give her the paper invitations and she passes them out to all of the campsites in the campground. And then we do That'd a tasting thing. party at her campsite. I even thought about paying the nieces and nephews. I'll pay you a dollar a product you sell mm -hmm. <laughs> slave labor i love it i love it those what campers are looking something for something to do on those weekends mm -hmm. yeah great idea especially it's not real warm yet well they're all grilling you know that's yeah. the thing too so yeah do a grilling theme and mm -hmm. yeah very good any other topics you'd like to see or something that you'd like to hear from somebody Well, if you do think of some topics, please send them my way. What about even like everybody bring it, um, do like an engaging quote, like how to engage people in face in parties? Oh, yeah. Because it seems like if we could get two posts that do well from everybody, mm -hmm. bring them together, that might help. Because I don't know. I've just noticed, I think Facebook has done a change because it's, I see not as many posts getting noticed. I don't know. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. and I, I think I, Facebook did a change. I think they did too. Yeah. And a tip on Mark, Mark Pituska, you know, who's recruits as well on Facebook online parties. He said he has three posts in his four days that touch the business. And I really only have had one. Mm -hmm. So I will share with you guys on the team page. One of them is really good it's about your favorite trip or something you know obviously it gets them what's your favorite trip and then he talks about how he earns trips through his tasteful simple business so i'll share that on the team page okay that'd be great yeah so hmm. okay all right well again if you think of anything more um let me know because there's all kinds of things we could talk about all right so did you guys come with any questions I have a question, Sherry. I know the answer, but I want everybody else to hear it because it's amazing. What is your biggest paycheck? Sherry oh. said I can ask those things, you guys, right? Of course you can ask those okay. things. Okay, I know. You were like, yes! Yes, of course you can ask that. Okay, so my biggest paycheck was a long time ago, and it was in November. It was $20,000 for the month. <gasps> and right, I, remember, I remember calling my dad, and I'm like, you're not going to believe it. Because I remember I grew up in, you know, in the 80s and we were middle class. My dad had his own business. And when I applied for college, I swear his income was only 20000 for the year. You know, back in 1985. So we were middle class. Um, I always felt like we had plenty and we did everything or whatever. But um, so I was so happy and he was so proud of me. But you know what, though, you guys, um, with these leader bonuses that we've had, it wasn't that long ago that I had checked for 16,000. Angie, when did I, was that in April? Oh my gosh, I know that. It was, crazy. it was, I think. I know that yeah. sounds crazy. Was it, it was, it was April because it was recent. I mean, we, that's where you recent. told me your biggest one. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so. You know, the money is out there. Um, you know, there's, there's money to be made selling the product and doing online parties. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, it's been really fun to see things through my daughter's eyes because she's like, 
oh my gosh, I got a paycheck for $873. She was very mm -hmm. delighted about that. And she's doing online parties, so she has absolutely no expenses. $873. Nice. Like that'll that'll make a difference for us, you know, yeah. saving, whatever. Um, and she goes, but I kind of like your $16,000. <laughs> Show like, her how it's done, Sherry. Next yeah. quarter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't happen overnight. But I wish she had more time in her hands. But like most of you here on this call, she works full time and has two kids and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. But there's definitely money to be made out there. So, all right, Ann. Any other questions? Mind if I can start with that, you guys can follow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's your smallest pick? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would, you know what I would do? Totally kidding. You don't no, 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 no. What I would do, Katie and Brianne, is when you do get that first paycheck, and I, you know, now it's always direct deposited, but um, take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And then as it grows, you know, you'll be like, oh, wow, remember it was $82 and now it's $850 or maybe it's $26, whatever. I mean, it's a little different now than how it was back in the day, but um, it's still going to grow. I so. should have done that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Katie. Well, Katie, you could actually, how long have you been a consultant? A little over a year. Yeah. You can easily go back into my HQ and go to your, you know, you could find it and just take a snapshot of it. It's not going to be an actual check, but it'll show you what you got paid. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Every little bit helps too. That's the thing. It is. It is. It is. It is. So me anyway. So watch for Wednesday in the buzz about um, Party Palooza. If you haven't gone to the event, you really should participate in Jane Skewer it because she's so inspirational. Mm -hmm. And then just as we come into this summer, think about ways you can promote our products. Remember what Sue Rush always said, features tell, you know, here's the honey teriyaki sauce. It's got honey in it or whatever, benefits sell. So features tell when you talk about a product, but benefits sell, how can this make life easier for you know, Katie's family, how can life, how can this make life easier? How can she put a really amazing dish on the table? So features tell, benefits sell, and that's kind of storytelling mm -hmm. and sharing how this product can make a difference. Um, even those cute little popsicles that I shared on the team page this morning, I don't know if you had a chance to see that with our drink buckets. Um, check out our blog, you know, Taste mm -hmm. Simple has got some great recipes in our blog. Um, so there's all, even online, my gosh, there's so many fun recipes. So one minute left. Anybody have anything else? I'm posting those popsicles on Friday. So like Christy, Brianna, and Gail in Nebraska, it's supposed to be 85 for us on Friday, right? So I've got them posting on Friday. Is key. it really going to be that warm for you? Well, it's yeah. supposed to be warm here too, but wow. Mm -hmm. For Brie, it'll probably be even warmer. You're a little few hours south of us, of me. That's three. The other three. I'm gonna have to look. <laughs> I'm ready for it. It's been raining. Yeah. 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 We need we we need rain here in Minnesota. It's dry. Yeah, we do too. All right, you guys. Well, nice to see your smiling faces. I wish you the best this week and finish up that month strong. There's a lot of time left, and start looking at your June if you don't already have it booked. Um, and I think taste, they didn't share anything with us, but I do think they're going to pull something out of the hat because remember June is our birthday month and we know mm -hmm. the host special, but I really believe there's going to be some extra stuff, but don't wait for that. Just knowing that you may be able to treat your host to something more, but book your June now. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to end the recording and I will stay on if anybody has any um, questions.